A new military and veteran resource center is nearing completion in Greater Cincinnati. In this week's Salute to Heroes, we spoke with organizers at Easter Seals Redwood to find out how the center will better serve our local troops. Since 2012, Easter Seals Redwood has provided employment and housing opportunities to those who serve in the military. But now the organization is expanding to offer even more resources than ever before. We want to be able to meet the needs of every veteran in our community. The new center is being built at Easter Seals Redwood offices right off of Gilbert Avenue. It's going to offer up to a kitchenette area that will have a variety of snacks as well as a fitness center, gaming room, laundry area and showers. Privacy for veterans is also a top priority. Organizers say there's going to be several small offices where veterans can meet with specialists and outside organizations. We'll help you with the emergency services that you might need. Um, our team will help you connect to a, uh, a job coach and a job developer to find employment. But even more than that is we want to help you before you get in crisis. Terry Musgrave is a member of Easter Seals Redwood. He served the military during the Gulf War. But after returning home, he says he really struggled with his mental health. Military life was pretty structured, you know, pretty set. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, it's, it was pretty structured from day to day. So when I got out of the military, um, I didn't have that structure. Alcohol use went up. I eventually I turned to drugs, experienced homelessness, uh, anxiety. But what I didn't know I was dealing with was I undiagnosed PTSD. Musgrave says while he was receiving treatment, he met a member of Easter Seals who told him about their services. More importantly, he says that that person acted as a friend and was able to connect him with veterans going through similar situations. And all it takes is one person who shows care and concern. Just those little conversations and phone calls just gives me that little extra boost. Which is why organizers say they want to continue to expand and make a change in more veterans' lives. It's about how we as a community can create change at a big level. So the new facility will be called the Klee Camp Family Military and Veteran Center. Organizers say the majority of the project's being paid for by donations and that it is two thirds of the way from being finished up. To learn more about this project and all of the resources being offered, you can just visit the website, fox19now.com. And don't forget every day at four, we highlight someone currently serving or a veteran in our Salute to Service segment. Your nomination should include their name, message, and a picture.